With Really Haunted being abducted by aliens, a top five channel turned a bunker, a massive Hollywood name having a paranormal experience whilst filming his first ever horror movie, and a massive exploring YouTuber being arrested by the Taliban. There is a lot to cover in this week's episode of the Paranormal Roundup. So in our first story today, we're going to be covering Really Haunted being abducted by aliens. On the 19th of March, Lee from Really Haunted uploaded a video titled Powerful Paranormal Activity in My Haunted House, where Lee would start recording because he could hear some intense banging around the downstairs area of his house. The banging is going crazy. When he went searching for it though, he couldn't find the source of the noise, so sat to talk to the camera. And when he begins to speak, the banging suddenly stops. Uh, I've been up about time is it? After a while of talking, Lee goes on to explain that people will often email him with suggestions around what's happening in his house. And one that really caught his attention was where someone sent him over details on alien abductions. And Lee sees some parallels between the article that he's been sent and what he's going through. 10. Kind of an alien thing, but this is something that I'm suffering with. Like strange windows of missing time. Perhaps the biggest indicator of an alien abduction is the sudden realisation of missing time. These windows can last from a few minutes up to several hours. You know, you could say that's happening, you know, with the sleepwalking and those periods. A sudden feeling of anxiety is often recalled by people who discover they have been abducted by aliens. What's more, this panic state often results in issues. Hearing strange noises while, while going in and out of sleep, I'm constantly hearing whispering. Now, these whispers, nine times out of ten, aren't audible on the camera. This is another key one. Waking up in different places from where you fell asleep. It's like I can sleepwalk and, you know, I'm coming downstairs and just falling out couch. But this is the one that piqued me interest. Number three, sudden paranormal activity and shadow people. The link between paranormal activity and alien abduction is stronger than many people might think. Perhaps one of the strangest of these ghostly encounters is the claims of abductees seeing shadow peoples in and around their home. These shadow people are so called nothing but black body shaped figures and even more unnerving. So the shadows are well you know, well documented here. And I kind of agree with what they said, you never usually see them flat out in front of you like it's always a glimpse or you know a dart across you. Lee does disclaim in the video though just to be super clear before I show you I don't believe it's aliens right but he does acknowledge that there are similarities between alien abductions and what he's experiencing. What do you think? Do you think that Lee from Really Haunted's been abducted by aliens? He does have a second channel surrounding alien happenings, but that could just be a coincidence. Let me know down in the comments below. Before we carry on with the video, we want to give a massive shout out to our channel members. As without the support from those guys, the things that we're able to do in our house and the videos that we're able to make just wouldn't be possible. And because of their small contributions, they also get exclusive perks like extra videos every single week, early access to videos and regular shout outs just like this. So if you want to become a channel member, then be sure to get down in the description or the pinned comment where there will be a link. Anyway, back to the video. And moving on to our next story, we're going to be talking about a top five channel that has turned debunker. Top five channels have always been the home of any and all paranormal clips from the internet, providing an opportunity for many channels to be seen on a large scale by simply having a shout out from a channel like Nukes Top 5s, Chills, or even Slapped Ham. Usually these clips are featured with very little background checks or close inspection. Clips just being put in with a background story behind the creator who uploaded the video and context to the video featured, and this has been a running theme with every Top 5's channel for years. But there's one channel who's really trying to break the mould of this unwritten rule 
within the top five community. For the past few weeks, Goose Pimples has started changing up their videos in the hope that they can become, quote, a reputable source for real paranormal videos. In their attempts to do this, they will add clips to their top fives that they can debunk by pointing out flaws that they can see within the clip. And if they can't find anything that is debunkable within the clip, they will leave it in as a real clip. Although these videos seemed pretty genuine, one particular clip made us raise our eyebrows. Let's see what you think. After watching this, we really felt they might be using software masking or a green suit to hide the person moving the scooter. So, of course, from here on out, we had to dig a little deeper. Let's start by figuring out their channel ID and see what we can find about their YouTube channel. It might help us make a more informed opinion about the legitimacy of their claims. You see, any YouTuber can change their nickname, but what they can't change is their channel ID, unless they create a new account. With that in mind, and with the help of the beautiful Wayback Machine, we found some pretty interesting stuff that no other paranormal channel mentioned when covering this story. As it turns out, this same YouTube channel back in 2019 was completely unrelated to the paranormal. Instead, their video titles, content, and even channel branding targeted a very popular niche on YouTube at the time, family content. And guess what's also popular right now? You guessed it right, paranormal videos. Of course, this doesn't necessarily mean their videos are fake, but it surely seems to reveal an interest in clout chasing. Could that be considered a solid motivation to fake content? Well, that's up to you. But the fact that they deleted all their old videos after 2019, when paranormal content became trendy, and suddenly changed their name and content to target the paranormal audience, which gives more chances of going viral, seems a little sus. Anyway, let's just do it like all the other top five channels and leave it up to you 
to decide. They're also very transparent with their audience and people who reach out to them about this too. In one of their community posts, they show their brutal honesty with people and warning them that they will debunk the clip if necessary. Just like in this community post here, where Goose Pimple says, Hey Spookies, I'm truly sorry for missing this weekend's upload. Uh, it's getting harder to find decent paranormal clips with so much blatantly fakes popping out. So instead of prioritizing video editing, I had to spend extra time working on research as none of the narrators had scripts to work on. I'm still working on the video editing, but hopefully we'll have a new video out tonight. On that note, I thought of leaving you with something to think about. Is your favorite paranormal compilation channel doing his slash her homework? If not, make sure to give it to them straight. And taking a look at the photo that's been attached to this post, you can see how brutally honest Goose Pimples is with anyone that emails in their clips. Hi Goose Pimples, I posted another video today. Had more activity today whilst working from home. Regards, and then it's the sender. Goose Pimples then responds to this by saying, Hi, thank you so much for sending this one across. Although I couldn't spot any strings or cuts in the first video you sent, I did notice a cut in the 59 second on this new one. And while I never say for fact that it is indeed a cut, because cameras are not always perfect with quick movements, I do feel the obligation to mention what I noticed to my audience. Of course, I won't disrespect or say for a fact that it's fake, but I'd like you to consider if you'd still like to feature your videos. Would you like us to feature your channel and mention both my positive and negative takes on it, or would you prefer us to not feature it? Please let me know. This definitely puts Goose Pimples aside from the rest of the top five genre as they're going above and beyond to try something new and different within the niche. But what do you think about Goose Pimples debunking clips? Are you happy that someone's doing it and making it a more reputable space for paranormal clips? Or do you think it takes the fun out of these paranormal clips? Let me know in the comments. And moving on to an even bigger story, famous Hollywood actor Russell Crowe actually had a paranormal experience whilst filming his first ever horror movie. Horror movies are intended to leave people spooked and it's not uncommon for paranormal situations to unfold on set during filming. From mysterious claw marks, the conjuring star Vera Farmiga found on her computer screen, to the fire on the set of The Exorcist that caused the McNeil family house to burn down, except Reagan's room. It almost sounded scarier than the film itself. Now, Russell Crowe has seemingly had his own strange experience whilst filming his very first horror movie. The Oscar winner stars in the late Italian Catholic priest and exorcist Gabriel Amor in the terrifying new film, The Pope's Exorcist. But when he sat down to do an interview with Unilad about the new film, Russell actually revealed that he found something extremely strange outside his house over the course of filming. During the interview, Russell states, I think we are all aware of keeping ourselves sane throughout the course of the shoot. There were certainly little strange coincidental things happening, but you've got to keep your balance with that. I arrived home once and there was a dead bird in the center of the doorway of the house I was staying in, and birds are quite symbolic within the movie. The 59 year old star concluded with a laugh, but I rationalized that in a different way in my head, that there must be some creature in the woods around where I was living that had realized I'd gone away for a few days and was leaving me a welcome home gift. What do you think about this experience? Is it just a coincidence that Russell should be filming a horror movie at the time with birds very symbolic within the movie? Or is it something a little more sinister? And for our final story, there are some huge news around the paranormal and YouTube community as a huge YouTube star has actually been arrested by the Taliban over in Afghanistan. Three UK nationals are being held in Taliban custody. Among them is an infamous 23 year old YouTuber who goes to the most dangerous places on earth for fun. Hey everyone, it's Lord Miles here. I'm in Afghanistan on forged documents going to meet a black market gun runner who was previously wanted by the US for five years. I'm also going to hang out with the Taliban. Now, you may ask, why am I in Afghanistan? Well, that's a really good question. During COVID lockdowns, Afghanistan was the only country open without a vaccine mandate, so I just went. According to the humanitarian NGO, which released details of the men's detention over the weekend, Miles Rootledge, otherwise known as Lord Miles, attracted global notoriety in 2021 when he took a holiday to Afghanistan shortly before the Taliban takeover. He was subsequently airlifted out of the country by the British army during the fall of Kabul in the August of that year. Rulej posted videos and updates to his Facebook and 4chan at the time and later returned to Afghanistan where he filmed YouTube videos in which he joined a Taliban parade and fired guns with Taliban militants. The notorious YouTuber and self-styled dark tourist 
has more than 150,000 followers on Twitter. He is now one of three men being held by the Taliban secret police, along with a 53-year-old charity medic, Kevin Cornwell, and another unidentified UK national who manages a hotel in Kabul. And the source of all this information is actually Sky News. The reason for Lord Mars's arrest are as yet unclear. A senior European diplomatic source told The Telegraph that he was arrested on the 2nd of March and is being held for questioning. Scott Richards, a negotiator who works for British humanitarian NGO The Presidium Network and is supporting the families of Cornwell and the hotel manager, told Sky News that while there, quote, has been no meaningful contact with the men, he believes they are safe. And of course, this story is very much in its infancy, so there are very few and very vague details around this story. But we just hope that everyone involved can get out of the situation safely. And perhaps this could be a bit of a learning curve for Lord Miles himself. So that's it surrounded all the top stories around the paranormal community at the moment. What do you guys think on everything that we've covered? Be sure to let me know down in the comments below and I hope that you've enjoyed and we'll spook to you later. Peace!